good and glorious morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Truth Be Told, where the truth of God is revealed. I pray that your hearts are open to receive the word of God today. I pray that your spiritual eyes are open so that you may see what you don't see. That you start to believe in the word of God and not what you see, not what you feel today. In the glorious mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Well, today is a wonderful day. And I pray that you rise above your circumstances today, regardless of what the world brings, or what happens to you today. If you believe in God and you are considered a child of God, then you don't need to worry about no thing, honey, because God Almighty is right by your side and he's going to take care of everything that comes at you. That's what faith is, right? In Psalms 94, 19, it's a beautiful verse. It says, in the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comfort delights my soul. Don't matter what I'm thinking about. If I put my attention to God, then it's already taken care of. We have to learn to hold our thoughts captive. You know, some things in life for Christians are non-negotiable. Okay? For me, breathing is non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable. If I don't breathe, I'm going to die. Well, for me, as a Christian, what's non-negotiable is the Word of God. Without the Word of God, I cannot live. I cannot. If I'm not connected to the vine of all life, I am not. I am existing. I am not living. So, right, I want you to know something. you either for God or you're against God. The word is very clear, right? It's really easy to tell people about scriptures about how much God loves you and his peace and his joy and his love and his forgiveness. People love hearing about that. Ooh, honey, but don't you start talking about obedience and forgiveness and for uh, repentance and sin and sexual immorality. People don't want to hear that. Baby, you can't pick and choose what you want to pick out of the word of God. Everybody says, resist the devil and he will flee. You're right, but what comes before that? It says, submit yourself. Resist the devil and he will flee. You got to be submitted to God because it's the it, Satan recognizes God's power in you. And if you're not submitted under the authority of God, then you're going to access his power. I pray that you get this because we're trying to do things outside of the realm of God. We're trying to do things that we think is right. So you're telling me you know more than God? <laughs> And that's what a lot of us are doing daily. We don't even realize that we're telling God, I know what's best for me. But no, you don't. God has written an instruction manual. He's given you everything you're going to need. We need to make God's word a non-negotiable in our life. I pray you do this today in the glorious mighty name of Jesus. I am on Devoted Drive and Humble Highway. Where are you at? Holla.